All right, everyone, thanks for downloading. We got a pretty good podcast for you today on the PM Review Show. And if you're listening to it on YouTube, you gotta make sure you check out our uh, actual podcast. We're going to interview uh, C.J. Rivas. He's one of the featured players on the popular Netflix series Last Chance You, and he's a current player on the Marshall football team. Yeah, he uh, he's about to go to the NFL, and or at least we hope so. So if he did, we interviewed him, and we'll call it. So here it is. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, let us know what you think. All right, so uh, we're here with C.J. Rivas. Uh, this is PM Reviews back with our very first – it was our yeah. first interview podcast. First interview podcast, and uh, we want to thank C.J. Reaver for coming on. So thanks, man. Thanks for coming on. Well, no problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, so playing for Marshall right now. Uh, y'all had a game yesterday, right? Yep. All right. Uh, anything? And uh, I'm sure most people that are listening, uh, he's best known for being on Last Chance U. It's uh, the, the really good show on Netflix. Uh, yeah. It's definitely worth watching. It's, I really liked it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all of our all of our group of friends have watched it. Um, one of one of our favorite shows to watch, definitely. Uh, and uh, if you've watched it, you know CJ is one of the featured characters on there, or not characters because it's a real show, but yeah. <laughs> uh, you know players. Uh, so, what uh what got you into football early on in life? Uh, I guess uh, it was definitely that my parents would be forced upon me. You know, I played a couple sports growing up, but football just was stuck with me. I guess the most. Uh, yeah, I I, uh, I played football in high school too. Um, and you graduated in uh, high school in 2014, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were checking out your uh, ESPN uh, profile on there. That's what it said. That's that's kind of cool because that's when we graduated too. Yeah, we both graduated 2014. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, happy early birthday, by the way. We're recording this on November uh, 19th, and uh, but we want to give that real quick. We saw it's your birthday, so happy early birthday, by the way. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, we're not trying to be creepy. It just said on your profile. <laughs> yeah, we were, so, we were on your ESPN profile, and we saw it, and we were like, oh, we might give him a shout-out real quick while we're doing that. So. And what, what other sports did you play besides football before uh, kind of going all the way towards football? Uh, I played uh, basketball, baseball, and uh, soccer. Oh, okay, cool. I used to play soccer, too. Yeah. Uh, so we saw um, we saw your, your high school rankings coming out of high school were, were off the charts. We were looking, it was like – I think they said on ESPN it said you were the 26th safety in the nation. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's impressive. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, appreciate it, man. Yeah, we, uh, it said that, and it said amongst just all football players in general, it said coming out of uh, Virginia you were the 11th-ranked football player, which, man, that's that's crazy. That's unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was said, uh, definitely a, a cool process. Yeah, and uh, we were, didn't you have a – you had a lot of offers right out, right? Yeah, I had like thirty offers. Oh man, that's yeah. impressive. Who were some of them? Uh, Virginia Tech, of course. Uh, Ohio State, um, Michigan, Oklahoma. Some of the powerhouses, I guess. Yeah, def- definitely. Michigan, some powerhouses Oklahoma. in there. Man, that's crazy. And were you always a uh, safety? Did you kind of move around maybe a little bit? Uh, yeah, I played corner a little bit in high school, so uh, I think I did a, l- a little bit of everything. Oh, that's cool. You just kind of like safety better. Uh, well, I guess that's where I, I, I said that's right now, so I guess we never know. Yeah, you got to go with what's the best fit for sure. And uh, you're a strong safety, correct? Uh, free safety. Free safety, okay. Free safety, okay. Yeah, I thought on the uh, – I guess we read it wrong. So, um, about the show, uh, what, overall, just you know, before we get into deep – like, what would you think about being on Last Chance U? Uh, it was a cool experience, you know, uh, before I got to the Duke, I didn't know – uh, they were going to be filming a Netflix documentary, you know, so it was like a surprise. And even when they were filming it, you know, we didn't really know what they would end up being, you know, until it actually became big. So, I mean, it was cool to see it, you know, from the ground up. That's really – it's really a, an organic, like, filming process. Like, you you felt like you weren't, like – you felt like you weren't watching a show. You felt like you were there. It wasn't. Yeah. Like you could. It felt like like you said. It didn't seem like like people knew they were being kind of like filmed. Like they were just going about their day. Yeah, uh, definitely. It wasn't like we were acting or anything like that. It, they just followed us around everywhere, really. So we didn't know what was going to be on there and what wasn't going to be on there. Did uh? Did you? I mean, did you enjoy being on it? Like, was it? Did you think it was pretty fun? I mean, it, it was definitely cool to see stuff on Netflix. You know, uh, that's the cool thing. You know, all your family yeah. and like your. All, all your your friends, you know, get to brag about that. Yeah, heck, that's yeah that we we've the couple of people we've told we're talking to you, we've been bragging about it too. It's crazy. Yeah, because there were you know they had like a couple of featured players on there, and you were one of them. So we were definitely excited when uh, we could get you on. 
You keep in touch with some of the uh, the guys on the EMCC team still? Yeah, definitely. Uh, John Franklin is still. Ali. Uh, all those guys. Dre. Uh, talk to those guys all the time. Dang, that is Dang, that's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, all those guys got offers and... Most of the people on the show, they're playing for D1 or doing something now. Like they, they have a really good uh, EMCC has a really good program, getting everybody to advance. Yeah, definitely. So, um, just coming out of EMCC, what made you? Uh, what made you want to go to Marshall? Uh, I had a little connection with one of the coaches. You know, uh, they played at my former school, Virginia Tech. So, uh, you know, that's where uh, I connected the most with them, and I just wanted to feel at home. So uh, that's why I chose it. Okay. That's cool. Do you like Virginia Tech overall? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a good place. Great place. Yeah, Virginia Tech school. I like – that's one of my favorite schools, Virginia Tech. So they produce cool. a lot of people too. It's a good school, yeah. yeah. And uh, what, are you, are you stu- what are you studying uh, at uh, Marshall? Uh, sports management. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's a cool, cool. major. Man. That's cr- I just – I couldn't imagine being in the college football life. I bet that has to be so much fun. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's fun on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has to be. That's about it. Um, so, uh, let's see. Covered it. Covered it. Um, kind of jumping ahead here, but, I mean, NFL in the plans? I mean. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. This is, in, and I don't think we, we might have said it, but this is, uh, this is your senior year. And, um. Yeah. You, um. You gonna, like, attend, you plan on attending the combine, or, I don't know how they do that. I don't know if they invite you or you have to sign up for it or something. Yeah, uh, we well, get invited to that. Okay. And, uh, I haven't got invited yet. Uh, also, also they, they, they've sent out invites yet. But hopefully, you know, I get that invite. Well, I mean, as good as you are, I'd be extremely shocked if you didn't get. Yeah, one. people aren't <laughs> looking for a prototype safety that can move the corner a little bit. What are they thinking? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what yeah, anybody. Man. If somebody doesn't invite you, I don't know what we need to. They'll hear from us. Then Roger Goodell definitely needs to be fired. <laughs> That's not even a question. <laughs> and have you been? Uh, you you watch? We saw some things on your Twitter. I think you watch uh, the NFL a good bit, right? Yeah. Do you have a favorite team? Uh, I was a Chargers fan for a little bit. But uh, they would let me down, so I just cheer for my uh, my homeboys in the league now, like uh, Kendall Fuller for the Redskins. So, you know, I just uh, I'm really just fan of my homeboys. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, they had a good game today. The Chargers yeah, are having an excellent game today, by the way. Shout out to the Chargers, real quick. If somebody from the Chargers hears this while we're recording, they're is it? Yeah, the Chargers defense. Yeah, they're playing up. against the Bills today. <laughs> so hopefully, you can be a part of that defense, getting five interceptions today one day. Yeah, we're from uh, Charlotte. We like the Panthers, obviously. So. That's kind of our team. They've been pretty good at it, or not today, but this year. This season. <laughs> but, um, so, like, is there, obviously, the Chargers are one of them. Is there, if, if it, if you could choose a team in the NFL, is there a place you'd like to go? Like, other, maybe other than the Chargers, if you could choose, like, maybe, like, three teams? Uh, if I could choose three teams, uh, definitely it would be one of them, be the uh, Seahawks, you know, just because of their culture and all the legends, you know, playing in the back end for them. Uh, it would have to be the Los Angeles Rams because I would love to be in L.A. <laughs> and uh, the Washington Redskins because my dude coach at, at Virginia Tech, he coaches for the Redskins now. So. That's crazy. That's cool. That's a good connection, too. That's how, you know, things like that will help out later. Yeah, definitely. So uh, what's it like being at Marshall? Like what's um, just day-to-day, like, practice? And, I mean, what's what's all what's all that consist of? Like a day at Marshall as a, for a football player, what's that consist of? Uh, Well, Monday morning we have uh, 6 a.m. meetings. And then I go eat breakfast at 8 a.m. Then I, I'm probably in treatment uh, from, like, 9.30 to about 12, just trying to get get my, my body right, you know, here and there. And then uh, I'm really in a lot of online classes since my senior year, so I'm taking a lot of classes online. So I just come home, you know, I might do a little work here and there, relax before practice uh, at 1.30, and then practice from, like, 1.45 to, like, 5.30. Wow. Uh, like, not fully, like, padded practice, but, like, practicing, like, meeting and stuff like that. It's just uh, from 1.30 to 5, 12, 5.30. And then after that, you know, uh, that's a day, really. And then, you know, you got work or something after that, maybe. But that's, that's pretty much a day. So you start it. at 5 a.m., go all day. That's crazy. It's the life of a student athlete. People don't understand. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. So uh, is it, like, when you go out and, you know, you play for Marshall and you played at Virginia Tech and – you were on last chance. You, if you go somewhere, do people do people recognize you more and more? Like, 
as you as you, as you're more exposed, I guess would be the correct word. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I I got did a couple of uh, are you circus sites from here, here and there. So yeah, I, I get that going out. That's got to be really cool. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely cool to be noticed. You know. Yeah, that's definitely people coming up asking like, oh, you know, I watch you, I watch you every Saturday or something like that. That's got to be crazy. Yeah. Dang. And uh, what are uh, some of your hobbies? Like when you're not playing football, do you like uh, you, you're a gamer or anything like that? You play what? You play any uh, Madden or any uh, video games? Oh yeah, I play Madden. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we we're we're big time in Madden down here too. We love playing Madden. I think I think that's I think that's something every every either college or pro football player. Does. If they say they don't, they got to be lying. Like yeah, most people that play sports like usually play Madden or two K or something. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> I know in the last chance you show, you guys would have like some uh, tournaments or whatever on there sometimes. Yeah. Well. So is there anything else you want to plug or talk about? Uh. Nah, man, that's about it. All right. Yeah. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah, though. We really appreciate thanks it. Thanks for talking with us. You're our. We want to uh, definitely thank you. Thank you because you're our. You're our first real interview. So, it's a. Definitely an honor to be talking to you. Uh, we definitely won't forget it. Absolutely not. Yeah, you help. You're gonna help us, help put us on the map. So we really appreciate you doing the interview. No problem. Man. Good luck to y'all. All right, thanks, man. All right, and uh, so that's our first interview uh, with CJ Revis from Marshall. So be sure to uh, you know go check him out. Check him out every week when he's playing on Saturdays. And and big thanks to him for uh, agreeing to do the show with us and talking yeah, with us. Big thanks to CJ, and uh, be sure to go check out Last Chance You. A really good documentary. Shout out to Heath for uh, putting us on the show. Yeah, our, our friend Heath Fur, he's the one that introduced us to the show. So without Heath Fur, we, this, we wouldn't have watched the show. So it wouldn't have. This this might not have ever happened. This probably wouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. So. And uh, we're we're gonna try to get some more guys on, maybe from the show, and really anybody. We're gonna keep trying to get some more people on there. Yeah. So let us know what you think uh, about the interview. Let us know, you know, if the questions were good. Some questions you might want to hear us ask other people in the future and stuff like that. Thanks for the download. Go rate us on iTunes. Give us a give us a rating and review. It'll help a lot. Uh, be sure to check out the YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time.